I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the smooth sumac. Russ glabra is a small tree or large deciduous shrub that is a member of the Anacardiaceae or cashew family, and it is one of four sumac species found in the eastern United States. Poison ivy is also in this family. It can be confused with shining sumac, staghorn sumac, and tree of heaven. This thicket-forming tree or shrub typically grows between 10 to 20 feet tall. Smooth sumac usually has a short, multi-stem trunk with a sparse, wide-spreading crown of stout branches. While not an important timber tree, it is a valuable wildlife tree. Smooth sumac's range includes most of the eastern and midwestern United States, with scattered populations throughout the west. It is found in most counties in Kentucky. Smooth sumac grows in a wide variety of habitats from open woodlands, prairies, dry rocky hillsides to protected ravines and is also found along roadsides and in old fields. Best growth is in moderately deep soils that can be dry to moist with sunny exposures. It is a climax indicator in a number of shrub grassland systems and a prominent species in prairie and oak savanna communities. Smooth sumac is relatively shade intolerant. Smooth sumac is deciduous with large alternately arranged compound leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are 12 to 18 inches long and pinnately compound, like a feather, then they have 11 to 31 lance-shaped leaflets. The leaflets are 2 to 4 inches long with serrated leaf margins. They are dark green above and pale below with fine hairs. Autumn color is showy, ranging from deep orange to deep scarlet. Smooth sumac is dioecious, which means there are male trees and female trees. It has small, greenish to pale yellow flowers that are in dense, upright, pyramid-shaped clusters. The clusters can be up to 8 inches long, and the flowers bloom in summer, and they are pollinated by insects. The fruit is an edible droop that contains one seed. The droops are in large, upright, pyramid-shaped clusters, and the droops are small, about an eighth inch around. They're round, red, and slightly hairy. The fruit ripens in fall and will remain on the tree throughout winter. Smooth sumac produces some seed nearly every year, and the fruit is eaten and the seeds are dispersed by a variety of birds and mammals. Smooth sumac also reproduces vegetatively by rhizomes that spread from the tree to form dense thickets of new trees as far away as 30 feet. The bark is brownish gray and usually smooth with many lenticels when young. As the tree ages, the bark develops scaly ridges. Smooth sumac is an important wildlife tree because the fruit persists through the winter months, which provides a ready source of food when other food for wildlife may be scarce. A variety of insects consume the flower nectar, such as mining and bumblebees, and mammals consume the fruit and leaves, such as deer and possum. The fruit are eaten by wild turkey, gray partridge, and morning dove, and it is the larval host for the red-banded hair streak butterfly. The national champion smooth sumac as of 2021 is in Washington State. It's 26 inches in circumference, 35 feet tall, with a 29-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about national champions, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about smooth sumac. Native Americans traditionally made hot and cold beverages, dyes, and medicines from the fruits. The young sprouts were eaten in salads, and the leaves were mixed with tobacco and other herbs for smoking. The leaves of this plant are a source of black ink. Pigment can also be obtained from the wood of this plant, and it's been used in the textile, toy, and paper industry. ID tips to distinguish from staghorn sumac. Staghorn sumac has velvety branches, buds, and leaf stalk, whereas smooth sumac branches and leaf stalks are smooth and without those velvety hairs. The scientific genus name Russ is from the Greek Russ, which is the common name of the sumac, and Glaber, the species name, is from Latin and means smooth without hair. I'm glad you joined me to learn about the sumac, and I hope you get the chance to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood, and enjoy the splendid sumac.